Hey Aquarius, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I appreciate it. This is going to be your reading. It's for anyone with Aquarius placements or anyone else who's guided to see the Aquarius reading. Um, this reading could resonate now or later on or at any other date, really. Uh, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know? Aquarius reading for anyone with Aquarius placements or anyone else who's guided to see it. This reading, like I said, could resonate now or later. Aquarius reading. One more shuffle, Aquarius reading. All right, guys, this is the um, Tarot of the Haunted House. There it is. Or, I'm sorry, it's called Tarot uh, Haunted House Tarot. I always say it backwards. We're also using Everyday Witch. Um, and it's Halloween season, so <laughs> I wanted to use some spooky decks. All right, what do we need to know, spirit and angels? Anyone for the highest good Aquarius reading? We got five of cups reversed and the eight of pentacles reversed. This could be a situation at work or it could be something you're not putting work into. Yeah, strength reversed, ace of pentacles reversed. So what I really see here is someone who um, might be afraid to go for something. What is the um, central issue here, Aquarius reading? What's the central issue? Could be you, could be a Leo. What is the central issue here, please? Aquarius reading. What do we need to know? This could be a work situation or not. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my gosh. That's exactly what I was saying. Okay. So someone's either um, not putting any effort into something or they could even be afraid to put effort into something. Just one or two at a time, please. Can I get okay? Yeah, absolutely. Wow, I didn't see that behind there. Okay. All right. Okay, excellent. Well, let's talk about this. So we're ending something, but it's good because, well, it was Ten of Swords and it needs to go. It was Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords. It needs to go. All right. What I see happening here, the only thing, the problem here really is that I see someone who isn't putting an effort into something. All right, so we've got Strength Reverse. This could be a Leo. I mean, it could be you as well. It's somebody who's not putting any time or effort or any work into something. Um, five of Cups is reversed. Um, the Five of Cups is, you know, it's usually a card of grieving and loss and sadness and sorrow. It's the grieving card. But if you look closely, all her cups are filled and you have it reversed. So I feel like you're getting past something. This could have been very emotional because you also have the Moon reversed here and you have the Death card reversed here and you have the Eight of Cups here. So uh, I, all in reverse. Look at them all. So you could have been stuck. Um, death, we want death in the upright and we want eight of cups in the upright. We will, don't want to see them reverse because that means we're stuck. What in emotions in the, uh, the moon card here. I don't know. Was the moon in reverse? I think it was in the upright, but either way, it just shows us a lot of emotions that you've been stuck in. Uh, because we also have this emotional card and you're coming out of this. This is something you're coming out of. There could have been a third party situation. There could have been somebody who was juggling two people. Look at that right there. So this would have been something you found out about. This already happened though. I mean, this could be the past and you just got stuck in the emotions of it. In other words, this could have happened a long time ago, but you, it's kept you in um, some kind of an emotional uh, stuckness, so to speak. Um, but no matter what it is, this is a thing that already happened and we have something about a healing happening here, but the problem is with the five of cups. So we know the emotional thing already happened. It's in reverse. It's already happened. You've already moved past it, but there's no effort being put into something here. So we've got the eight of pentacles reversed and the strength card reversed, and it could be because there's a fear of putting effort in. I don't want to accept, see your central issue here is the card of the universe trying to hand somebody something and they won't even look at it. Why? Because if I look at that, I am opening myself up to the possibility of going back here and being hurt again by something or someone who was possibly juggling third party. Or this could have been someone that hurt you in some other way, right? But it's definitely like somebody who... And it could have been a work situation, three of pentacles, eight of pentacles, right? So this could have been something you got stuck in in a work sense or in a business sense that was very difficult for you. 
Either way, it caused you a lot of stress and duress with the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Swords. But if you look closely at the Ten of Swords, there's a rainbow and the sun is shining the dawning of the new day. I actually like the Ten of Swords in this deck because it shows us what's coming. It shows us that that Ace is just about to come in, right? So this is actually a pretty good thing. Sorry about all the noise, guys. So anyway, this Ten of Swords shows us the dawning of the new day, the new beginning that's coming in. And it sits right next to the Four of Wands and the Nine of Cups. Excellent. This shows me peace is getting gained here and wish fulfillment's coming in. And what is the wish? It's to end an old cycle and start a new one. And it's actually... Um, it's very nice. The only problem is the fear of accepting the new. So basically what I see going on here is the warning that, you know, this thing that you've been through, whatever it is that's emotional that had to do with a third party or someone who was did something to you third party related or, you know, this could have even been a work situation where you were stuck in something in a group sense or in any kind of work project or or business sense so there could have been something that happened to you that was emotional you know that you went through with dealing with a business or dealing with work if it wasn't personal right but whatever this is this is your wish and this peace coming in the dawning of a new day and I feel as though it really comes down to like see how she's got her back turned to the cup she's got her back turned to also the pentacle this is like i won't even look at new beginnings why because i'm so freaked out i've been through so much and i'm fearful to put any effort into it because i don't want to end up back in that five of cups again in this emotional state i've just only gotten out of it right so um it's just a matter of allowing new to come in even if you're afraid but let's get some more clarity on it with uh, the everyday witch tarot here i think i said this was the haunted house tarot this is everyday witch tarot all right in in uh light of halloween we're using all things spooky all right spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know about this reading what are the most important messages we have for the people who need them the most Aquarius reading for anyone with Aquarius placements or anyone else who's guided to see the Aquarius reading for whatever reason they're here. Aquarius reading. One more shuffle Aquarius reading. All right, let's get a little peek here and find out. I want to know, first of all, about the Four of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands here? So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm so sorry. For some of you, this is home and family. For some of you, this is where you work or something about a business. Four of Wands, why is it here? What do we most, okay. Well, look at that. The Page of Cups, the new opportunity. So there's something coming. I'm telling you there's a new opportunity. Let's look at it. Let's look at that Four of Cups. What do, what do we need to know? Ten of Swords flew out in reverse. Look at that. I didn't even get the full question out. And what else? Nine of Swords sits right at the bottom. Two repeat cards. These two repeating these two. Wow. So it's just a matter of realizing that this is okay, that it's okay. Let me look. Let me get one card on that Nine of Swords. Give me one on that Nine of Swords. absolutely the eight of cups in the reverse i'm stuck in this stress and we already knew that because i talked about it right here i'm stuck in these emotions all right same exact energy everywhere same exact as this this is the same exact as this it's crazy same exact energy everywhere i look all right let's look at it the ten of swords we got it here twice we might as well look at it repeat 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 and all this repeating energy has been the theme through this week's readings. You guys are my seventh sign, and there are multiple signs that had so many repeat cards. Uh, you know, when you're doing, uh, you're, we're only starting with a 12-card spread. To get constant repeats is a big deal. We're using uh, 300 and like 40 cards. Uh, I mean, that's a lot to keep getting repeats right i mean it really is amazing 
All right, let's get a little bit more information here. What else do we need to know about this? Um, let's look at the Ten of Swords. What about the Ten of Swords? anything okay well 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 we've got the two of wands and we got the eight of wands excellent this is so nice all right this is the new opportunity coming in the new beginning coming out of feeling so betrayed entertaining the fact that maybe some new offers are going to come your way and maybe you could actually go down that road eight of wands two of cup or two of wands says to me I'm going to move forward. I'm going to choose a path and then I'm going to go down it. Even though I've survived 10 swords to my back, I actually survived it and it's done. And now new opportunities come. What will I do with these new opportunities? New energy, uh, the page of wands as well. This is such great new energy trying to come in. <clears throat> if you could get yourself out of the funk you've been in some of you could have been in this a long time i mean this happened a while back where you were put in a third party or someone was juggling you and another person or someone did something dirty to you and then you got stuck in that energy and um <clears throat> right now you have these new beautiful opportunities coming into your life or the ability to have them um, but it's going to be a matter of uh, accepting them and going down the new road and allowing the pa the past to be in the past. Uh, let's look at the um, let's look at the Ace of Pentacles. It's reversed, but what do we need to know about it? Ace of Pentacles. Is there anything we need to know in particular here about this Ace of Pentacles that's reversed? <clears throat> Ace of Pentacles reversed. What do we need to know? yeah it's a decision absolutely you are not the first person to have this energy someone else had a lot of the same energy um it had to do with like uh it could have been virgo uh, it's a choice right so two of swords says it's a choice two of wands says it's a choice uh you're it's a choice whether you're going to move forward eight of wands two of wands or two of swords ace of pentacles except the new beginning it's all a look absolutely look at the bottom of your deck Bottom of your deck says it's a choice, Seven of Cups, whether that wheel turns or not. Absolutely 100% your choice. When you do turn that wheel, you graduate. Look at the Six of Wands. This is just saying you win, you survived, you did it. It's like this, it's like a necessary step. It's almost like it's like your graduation day. Okay, you don't get the diploma if you don't walk down the aisle to receive it right uh and yeah maybe you get it mailed to you in some cases but you know i'm just metaphorically speaking you know you got to take the steps to get the diploma you won't get the diploma if you don't do the classes right um but what i'm saying to you is like it's that last step that's needed um is the choice and it's so important because the choice is your choice only no one else can make it for you so this is why it's so important to your graduation because it's a choice that's karmic it's the karmic wheel right so this was a karmic situation from the past and it's your job to graduate from karmic situations right no one can do that for you and there's no right or wrong uh if you think about it you can not do any of this you don't have to move forward you don't have to make a choice you don't have to accept new beginnings it just means that you stay in this you stay like this and able to progress because that's the that's the choice now it doesn't mean that you aren't going to still experience a lot you're going to experience more lessons more you know you might have to go through like more uh, failed relationships or you might have to go through more failed jobs or it depends on what the situation's about um or you might you know you could maybe graduate in another way by succeeding down the line in a different way i mean you're always going to have your choices to make and your ways to succeed it's really up to you um, i don't know how to really um, put it into words so that people could fully understand it but it's all it's like uh, you 
it's like you write your own alternate endings, but they're not even endings. You write your, your alternate paths are all written by you. No one puts you in them. No one decides for you. No one forces you. You write your own alternate paths, right? Um, your choice if you want a new beginning. Your choice if you want to turn that wheel. Your choice if you're ready to graduate the old cycle. Your choice, again, choice, 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 everywhere. Choice, 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 it's everywhere. Um, it's a really cool reading. I mean, it just shows you straight up that if you want it, you can have it. You graduate the death of old and the birth of the new is all in one card here. Death of old, birth of new. The rainbow is there. The sun is there. The opportunity for you to choose this path that will take you full speed ahead into a new whole new cycle. New opportunities for relationship, happiness, joy, or work, or whatever this is for you. Uh, but it's really up to you 100%. There's no one can do this for you. All right, let's look at the... Um, I want to go back up to the top. I don't care so much about the five of cups reversed. It's just showing that you're grad, like you're survived. You survived. Ten of swords, five of cups reversed. They're all reversed. A difficult cycle where somebody put you in something here or you were involved with someone who somehow hurt you in some way. And you felt, you felt betrayed. Ten of swords is everywhere here. You felt betrayed. Um, let's take a little look at the eight of pentacles reversed. And the strength reversed. I want to look at both. Eight of Pentacles and strength both reversed here. Because this is, I'm not putting any effort in. And it's either you or Ali. I think, I'm almost positive it's you. But you, I feel like you don't have this, like you're afraid to um, actually put the effort in. Because if you put this effort in, it means you're vulnerable again. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles reversed and strength reversed. Anything at all. Yeah, Seven of Swords reversed. All right, so we have the Seven of Swords reversed. This also could be about, I mean, the person you were dealing with could have been a Leo. Um, the person who uh, put you in this situation could have been Scorpio, could have been Leo, could have been anybody, could have been Pisces, could have been really anybody, or any of these could be your own energies. Um, but I feel as though, um, you know, Seven of Swords, you've already seen it, you already know it, whatever they were doing has just left you fearful. Whatever happened here that was exposed to you, and it was exposed to you, you have the sun at the bottom shining the light on the Seven of Swords. Like, you already know what this person did or what the situation was. For some of you, it was work. For some of you, it was somebody who did this to you. And they've left you in a state of almost like PTSD about new opportunities. Like, oh my God, if I, if I accept a new offer or a new relationship or I allow myself to be happy in one, I could get hurt. I could get crushed. I could go through this again, right? Um, let's take a look at the, the Nine of Cups because the Nine of Cups is the you know, wish card. Let's take a little look at this nine of cups. What do we need to know about it? And sometimes people just want the wish to be that they can move forward again in their life and trust again, or just feel good again. Tell me about the nine of cups. What is it? What do we need to know? There it is. Look at that. The, the strength card and the empress reverse. I want to be strong again after what I went through. Now, for some of you, you went through it with someone who you considered a wife or a mother or a mother figure or something like that or an ex-wife or something. For some of you, you are the Empress Reverse. It depends on which part you feel you play in this. Somebody's definitely wanting to pull on their inner strength. Some of you had an Empress do you dirty and some of you are the Empress and someone did you dirty. Uh, disingenuous, insincere. The Knight of Cups reversed, you know, I love you, I love you, I love you. Not really, right? And you were in a committed relationship with this person and they broke your heart. Ten of Cups reversed, they really hurt you. They turned the family upside down. Ten of Pentacles, you're healing from this. Three of Swords reversed under a lot of stress with the Nine of Swords about feeling left out in the cold again. Five of Pentacles. I feel like Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles, you know, 
are here saying, you know, they're both reversed. It's time for change. Fives mean change. The Hierophants of change is a five card as well. You know, there's an opportunity here to change, but um, you're going to have to, I feel somebody completely rocked your family and your world in the past. Um, and it's been so hard for you to get past it or get over it, or you could still be dealing with it for all I know, but whatever it is, the truth is you saw what they were doing and you, you know, and you see it, you know what they're about, you know, and you're not putting any effort into that or they didn't, or this could have been, like I said, it could have been a work situation. Um, but there's something here about being afraid to put effort into anything now or anyone, any, even the new opportunities, which are here. Um, and you have an opportunity to choose new, but if you're afraid to, because you don't want to get hurt again, um, and your wish is that you could be strong enough to feel good enough again, that you could, you know, go after these new opportunities. Now it's not just about you. It also could be, like I said, that an empress did this to you and you're just wishing to have the strength to get past it, to move away from the emotional baggage and the stress that it puts you under that you've been, you've been kind of stuck in this. It's like, uh, it's like these 10 swords came in and nailed you to the situation. And that's the thing we need to lift so that we can allow this new energy in that you're not looking at. Like I'm not looking at it because I'm still living in this mess. But it, the truth is, it's really a conscious choice to take the new beginning. It's a, you know, new opportunities of happiness and peace. Um, but you'll have to go down another road and you'll have to move forward and you'll have to, you know, realize that the new day has dawned and the past is in the past. Um, this would be wish fulfillment if you have the strength to do it, right? Um, I really feel like you can do this. Any one of you who are watching has this strength to do this. You feel like you don't, but you actually do. I feel like you're going to, um, it's just a matter of taking the steps. So if you haven't taken the steps, that's really what this reading's about. Let's look at the five of cups reversed. I wasn't, there it is. Look at it. Flew right out. Absolutely what I'm talking about here. Taking the steps you know, to leave the past behind the fool and going out on a new journey, risking it, even though you're scared, taking the leap of faith, going out on a new journey and allowing yourself to say goodbye. This fool leaves the past behind. The eight of cups leaves the past behind. And that's where you've been stuck. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. For some of you, I feel like, and I'm, I really feel this strongly, like you are afraid you know, the person that is in the past who put you in, I feel a third party. And there it is again at the bottom, right? The three of pentacles reversed. Now, if it was a work situation, then so be it. But we have new opportunities in front of you. The ace of cups, new opportunities, healing will come for uh, swords reverse and your graduation will come by you leaving this behind, right? But for some of you, I'm not kidding you. I feel like some of you have like, um, and this is normal. People get like this. They've gotten so used to the person from the past and not allowing themselves to get past the person from the past, so to speak, that uh, they've gotten comfortable in the, I don't know how to word this. How should I word this? Okay. So you've gotten comfortable in the pain. You've gotten comfortable even with the person who did you dirty to the point where you actually still entertain some sort of relationship with this person and you stay in it. But that staying in it isn't allowing you to grow elsewhere. And this person could actually be keeping you trapped by feeding you just enough to keep you reeled in. Okay, but they're going on their life and they're doing their thing with their person, okay? So, and this is not meant to hurt anyone, so I apologize if it does hurt or if it triggers you in any way. But, um, you know, I'm just telling you what I'm picking up and what I'm feeling. So I apologize if it does hurt because I don't want it to hurt you. But I do want you to know that um, I see here and I feel very strongly that for some of you, it's because you got comfortable where you at, were at to a point. It's like comfortably uncomfortable. I don't know how to explain it. It's just that you cared so much about that person. You've put all your time and effort into them. But the truth is they're not putting any effort into you. They're just giving you just enough. And you're going to see this. This is meant for you to see. 
they are going to give you just enough to keep you reeled in and stuck and not allow you to take these new opportunities so spirits saying please see this because you know they're keeping it hidden and they just keep giving you just enough because they know how much you care um, and it's keeping you from all this great new opportunities that you could have that'll allow you to let the Ten of Swords leave. It's like you're being stuck in the Ten of Swords and you can't see the new opportunities. And it's basically because of this person or people or whatever this is, just keeping you reeled in just enough. That's just for some of you, okay? Um, they're not going to allow you to be happy in a new opportunity or in a new relationship. And you'll know this because every time you get into a new relationship or you try to, it probably fails. And why does it fail? It fails because of your connection to the past. Um, I hope this makes sense to someone. And I know it's only going to be for some people. So I hope that, um, I hope it helps in some way, but spirit says, you know what, when you take that leap of faith, when you accept those new opportunities and move full speed ahead, you're going to move right into peace and happiness and you will have wish fulfillment, but it takes strength to get there. So, um, all of us have been through this where we got to our place of happiness when we let go of something from the past that once held us back. Anyway, let me pull you a couple of angel cards and hopefully this is helpful to someone. Angels, what do we need to know? Aquarius reading. Oh, that's way too many. I'm putting them all back except the one that's face up. Okay, Grace, it's beautiful. All right, one more card or two more cards. I'm sorry, two more from the bottom. Okay, we got three. That's okay. Expansiveness, expanding your world, right? Time to go out there and start accepting those new offers. You will be delighted. I'm telling you, you are going to be very happy you did this when you do it. Wisdom, absolutely learning from the experience. Learn from the experience. Shine the light on it. See it for what it is. Shine the light on what this person is doing. This person's not investing in you, but they're trying to keep you invested in them so you don't go anywhere. Why? Because they're probably narcissists. I'm sorry. But, um, and I don't throw that word around ever on my channel. So, I mean, but that is when people do this to people, when people have already broke someone's heart and cheated on them or brought third parties in and they've moved on with their life, it's unkind to keep them stuck and not let them get on with their life. Okay. It's unkind. It's narcissistic. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope that this helps someone. I hope it's not for most of you. <laughs> I really do. If you'd like to comment down below, actually, I do hope it's, you know, for anyone it's for, I want you to see how happy you'll be when you make those moves, when you make up your mind that you want the new beginning, that you're ready to let it come in. When you make up your mind that you're going to accept the offers from the universe and you're going to let this past go away. Um, when you make up your mind to accept the peace, when you, you know, these are all beautiful cards, wish fulfillment, strength, but what you're going to have to expand your world. You're going to have to take the leap of faith and leave the past in the past. It's nice, but it's, diff it's not easy. I know. Anyway, guys, if you will comment down below, I'd love to hear from you. You've got a weekend reading out there. You have Monday's reading probably just came out. So if you haven't seen that, check that out. Um, and do comment, like the video. It helps the channel and I appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.